Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Tuesday, uh, March 2nd. Great to be with you today. Hope you had a great day yesterday. I hope uh, more and more uh, you could uh, live even in the hard places in that transcendent peace, uh, knowing that, that Jesus is the one uh, and he's connected with you uh, and, and, that, um, and, and that every day in him is the peace that goes beyond all human understanding, a peace that transcends every situation. Uh, today we're going to uh, look at in this idea of intersect and, and God's peace intersecting the hard times in our lives, right? Uh, we're we're going to look at those places of mystery in our lives, places where we can't figure out what God is up to or how he can work through all this, um, and, and how we figure into that as well, okay? Uh, so I'm going to start with the uh, section Mark again. This is right after uh, Jesus uh, said, who do people say I am, and who do you say I am? You're the Christ, all right? He's the one. They know that. And then he goes on. Jesus then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, that he must be killed, and after three days, rise again. So uh, this was, um, didn't make any sense to the disciples, to Peter. They, they were looking for the Messiah to be this rescuing king, right? Um, who would usher in this awesome kingdom. Uh, and, and so Peter, he, he, this is what he, he spoke, Jesus spoke plenty about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Um, saying, what, what are you talking about, right? Uh, why did he do that? Why did Peter do that? Because what Jesus was saying didn't make any sense to him. It was hidden from him. It was like in mystery. What, what's he talking about? How could he possibly work through this in this way to establish the kingdom, right? Uh, and and uh, Jesus responds like this. When Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Uh, and, and so... And so Jesus was saying, Peter, you, you got this wrong. Um, in those places of mystery in your life, in, in your life, Peter, um, it's not your wisdom that's going to get you where you need to be. It, it's trusting in, in, in my wisdom, in, in, in God's working in your life. Huh? Uh, and and I, I, think, I, I think this is so powerful. Uh, there's, there's no way... That, that, mo that the Jews could have foreseen what Jesus was going to do uh, as the Messiah to, to, to rescue them. It was a huge mystery, you see. Uh, in, in Romans, you know, in Romans 5, we're kind of using that as well. It says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. So because of what Jesus did on the cross, we, we have this peace that transcends all human understanding, this peace of relationship tied to God, being filled up in him and so forth. But there's no way the disciples could have put that together. It was just this, this huge mystery with Peter. And, and in fact, he spoke against it because he, he didn't understand it. Um, there's lots of places in our lives. I mean, this is revealed to us why Jesus died on the cross for forgiveness of our sins and all those things, right? He took our punishment on himself. All, all of those things we see now. Um, but, but, but it was kind of hidden from the, from the disciples' eyes at this point. And there was great mystery how God could work through the suffering and death of, of, of Jesus, of the Messiah. And think just for a moment in all the places in your lives where there's mystery. How can God work through that? Huh? How could he work through the death of that person? How could he work through this illness? How could he work uh, through this hardship in my life or in the lives around me? How could he be working through through this broken world that I live in and, and how it's touched me? You see, there's great mystery in our lives as well. Uh, and, and so the message here is, is trust me on this. Peter, trust that I need to go to the cross. And I need to suffer and die. And I need for the, for, for, the, for the leaders to turn their backs on me. All those things are going to happen, Peter. You may not understand why or put it together right now, but it needs to happen. And I'm going to work through it. And, and you see, God works through the hard things in our lives. And he's there with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us always. And, and then it, it goes on here. It says, uh, then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples. They're going, everybody that knows. And he said, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So it's eerily similar to when Jesus said what? Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Huh? Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. What did, what did a teacher, a rabbi do with his disciples back then? He, he did life with them. And the whole idea is that they could become like the rabbi. 
like the teacher, that, that their lives reflected his life in every way. Well, Jesus is saying here, um, I, I'm, I'm going to complete my mission through my suffering and death, through the cross I take on myself. And now just realize what happened there. Through this the most horrible thing that ever happened on the face of the earth, the death of the Son of God, he would bring the greatest victory and the greatest uh, gift and blessing to, to humanity, right? Uh, the forgiveness of sins, and so that each of us who faith in him can have life in him. As we take up our crosses, and what are those crosses? I would say anything, anything that, that we need to do so that others see the love of Jesus in us, uh, so that we touch them with that love and with that truth and with that power and with the kingdom, right? Uh, uh, so, so, in the, so we follow the master and, and there's great mystery involved. You know, we, w w w but whatever we need to do, uh, we, we take that on our shoulders by the grace and power of God because that's what Jesus did. And in doing that, the kingdom will come. Uh, so that in, in every situation, Jesus Christ reigns and he's at work, and he's also at work through us in every situation, and he will work everything out for the good of all. Would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, we so easily miss the point. Um, we somehow think uh, these questions are meant to be tests to answer, to pass, and, and no, you're, you're, you're showing us that in the mysteries of our lives, uh, we can trust you and that you're in charge and that, and that you will bring good from all things somehow. And, and we thank you, Lord, for showing us that as we follow you and take up the cross so that others might know you and your love, whatever that looks like, experience your love, whatever's before us, pray that you would empower us to do uh, in, the, in the great peace of knowing uh, that in you nothing is ever done in vain. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.